the most. Amen, somebody. The Ministry of Education. Let's give the Lord a good, good clap off. Amen. Matter of fact, why don't we stand and let's give Jesus a good, good clap offering. and tell the person next to you, you are definitely in the right place. <laughs> amen, amen. So it's really good to uh, see everyone here today. We have about 87 people uh, registered to this meeting. So that says that, you know, there is a hunger and uh, there is a priority that you have for the Ministry of Education. So we thank God for each and every one of you because uh, we are definitely a part of what God is doing in Victory Outreach International. Amen? Amen? We are definitely a part of the third wave revival. Amen, somebody? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Right now I'm going to call up uh, Brother Willem. Uh, he's going to come up and open in a word of prayer. He's one of our coordinators from the Amsterdam Victory Outreach Church. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, he's Make it happen. He's aggressive. Uh, if he don't answer the phone, he'll come and look for you. That's what he does with me. <laughs> Amen. He's going to also share in, in two languages. We're going to pray in two languages, in Dutch and also in, in English. <laughs> God bless you. Let's, let's bow our heads. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, here we thank you, Father. Here we hear Samuel mogen zijn, oh God. Father, we thank you for your presence, my God, in this place, Lord. Father, as we understand, my God, that we are such an important part, my God, of everything that you want to do in this ministry and through this ministry, Father God. Heer, ik bid, O Vader, Heer, dat velen, O Heer, 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 dat uw roeping en uw kracht mogen ervaren, Heer, door de bediening van Vetti, O God. In the name of Jesus, that men and women will be equipped, my God, Father, to do the work of the ministry, my God. Father, bless this gathering, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 How many have been enjoying the Mighty Men of Valor so far? Yeah. Yeah. Exciting things we're going from glory to glory, from victory to victory. Amen? Amen. And uh, today we want to take advantage of everyone gathering here today. We do that every Mighty Men of Valor. And uh, one of the reasons we gather here together is so we can catch the spirit of what's happening in this ministry and in these meetings. We want to catch the spirit of what God is doing here in the Ministry of Education. And uh, lots of great things are happening. You might be aware, you might not be aware. It depends if you read the emails or not. Anybody read the emails? Or does, it, does it go to spam? Does it still go to spam and junk? And uh, I'd like to call up a couple of uh, testimonies. Uh, two brothers, uh, Pastor David and Angel Casas. Uh, come on up, let's give them a, a good hand. Amen. God is doing uh, through them. They're both uh, instructors here at Bethany, and they're teaching online in Spanish. And uh, uh, they're teaching also in Venezuela and Brazil. And there's like a revival happening there. It's happening like right now, right now, right now. And they've taken the challenge to learn technology and use the Zoom that we use for video conference meetings. And matter of fact, uh, Pastor Angel, he's not even a part of Victory Outreach. He goes to another church. But thank God that Victory Hour, we partner with those of mutual of con, uh, mutual commitment to Christ. Amen. And his brother is part of Victory Hour, so I'm not sure we might just zap him over or something. Yeah. See, how that, see how that works out. But anyway, I wanted to share just briefly, you know, their experiences of uh, uh, teaching a lie and, and what's happening. Hallelujah. God bless you, uh, everyone. Uh, it's a privilege for me to be part of uh, what God is doing in our ministry. I've been teaching for uh, 11, uh, since 2011. And um, myself, uh, I thought I'm going to be a lunch out. That was, that I have that on my heart. Since I started education and been uh, teaching in the classrooms, I see a great need. And my heart is moving to for the teaching, uh, it's a great need. The third wave is here, and we need to prepare uh, people with the word of God. How, how many of you are agreeing? Amen. And it's so much the need that um, God opened uh, uh, an opportunity to go and start doing my master's degree. I always have that in my heart, and you know, done 
to do the, the master's degree, it's very expensive. They've got to open a door in Point Loma National University. And the reason I just took the challenge is because I, need, I want to prepare more myself to be able to teach better. It's a hunger and uh, the Spanish ministry, as uh, I never see them before, especially in uh, Caracas, in Colombia, and now the UTC, uh, they just called my brother uh, for, to teach a class in uh, Guadalajara UTC. Mm -hmm. And the UTC is the, the third way, it's the young people. Right. But we need to prepare ourselves and um, I'm excited. I have a burn in my heart for uh, to prepare myself more and to teach more, to really, really teach and envision uh, the, the, uh, the, the students with their vision and with the word of God. So um, it's just um, for me a privilege to be part of Mo and uh, God bless you. Yeah. I'll try to Okay, sure. Maybe you want to try I'll give it a shot. Buenas tardes a todos. Greetings, everyone. It's a tremendo, tremendo honor estar entre tantos varones y mujeres con un corazón de enseñar al pueblo. It's a pleasure to be here with so many great people that have the gift of teaching the body of Christ. Pastor Nick dijo, estamos en el momento adecuado. Y creo que es verdad. Uh, Pastor Nick said that we are here at the right time and I believe it's true. Creo en un Dios de propósitos. ¿Cuántos dicen amén? I believe in a God of purpose. How many say amen? Y creo que Dios tiene un propósito específico para nosotros. I believe God has a specific purpose for each and every one of us. Para preparar una generación. To prepare a generation. Que levantará el nombre de Dios en alto. That will lift up the name of Jesus Christ. Creo que los tiempos pasados In the past times, hemos olvidado la educación cristiana. We've about Christian education, pero nunca es demasiado tarde para poder eh, eh, uh, empujar a los jóvenes, a la nueva generación, a la, a la a the third way eh, para, para que aprendan eh, más de la palabra de Dios. Yes, but it's never too late to get back and teach this generation the third way of what's taking place in this ministry. Eh, ciertamente no soy del ministerio alcance victoria I'm not part of victory outreach pero soy del reino de dios y creo que dios se vale de maestros profesores instructores I believe that God is ministering through our teachers uh, para para comunicar su palabra to communicate his word and por eso estamos aquí and that's why we're here today gracias Thank you very much, God bless you. All right, this is, uh, uh, you know, we're family, right? So this is uh, informal, but it's also formal. And uh, one of the things about uh, both of these brothers is that they're both going for their master's degree. Right. Let's give them a good hand for that, right? It's not about degrees, but it's nice to have one. Yeah. <laughs> it's not about degrees, but if you're called to get one, you need to go get one. Many are called, but few are chosen. And we have lots of pathways to get degrees. Uh, if that's what you feel called to, if that's what you want to do, that's what I did, that's what a whole bunch of us are doing. But you don't have to have a degree. You know, people are dying by degrees, but uh, we need to continue uh, with the vision and give people opportunity to equip them, men and women, for the work of the ministry. Amen? Okay, right, so I want to call up one more testimony. And uh, they are the modern day Aquila and Priscilla. I called them since yesterday. Uh, with a Mike and Annette Moreno, they're both graduating with their master's degree tomorrow. Wow. And, uh, wow. and they're also missionaries uh, in, in the new Amsterdam Victory Outreach over there. Plus, they're graduates from, uh, uh, I think, Victory Bible College. And they've gone through like all the steps that we have uh, provided and this pathway, and they're out in the field. And this is what it's all about. Now, they work hard. They got lots of stuff to do. Matter of fact, I still think they have to do homework right now after this meeting. They got a lot of work to do. Right? But it's a blessing to see them go forward in, in Jesus' name. So, go ahead. Praise the Lord, everybody. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's a privilege to be part of um, what God is doing here at Victor Arch uh, International. And I really believe uh, our academic program. Uh, is really the backbone to our ministry and raising up men and women for the work of the ministry. Uh, and 
all of us play a vital role in that. Um, my heart has always been to build our academic uh, uh, portion of our movement. And so that is what motivated us to get our degrees. Um, so we could have faculty of, of people with credentials. Mm -hmm. so, so it's been a journey. Um, we're not rich. I don't know it's expensive like you mentioned. <laughs> But, but I believe it's a sacrifice that, that is worth it um, for the movement of Victor Art. Because not only are we our unique uh, movement in ministry, but I believe it could also our call to build up a unique uh, university as well that's going to raise up men and women for this movement and, and really be solid. And so we've been in Amsterdam now for about 14 months. And that's what we're doing, right, Willem? Yes. I partnered with Willem. He was one of my students, and now we're working together and, and building a first our first Dutch extension. And, and I'll be honest, I was, I was a little bit nervous because I didn't get to okay from Pastor Nick here. <laughs> I just did it, we just did it, we just did it, right? Let's just do it, let's see what happens, you know? And so... Don't try that at <laughs> but this, But this is what I said, though. I told I told him, you know what? Um, we have a, the Spanish extension is booming. Yeah. It always has been, you know, but it had to start somewhere. <laughs> it started somewhere, it started with one person pushing it yeah. and making it happen, making the voice of, we need Spanish extensions, we need Spanish curriculum, we need Spanish syllabuses. And that was what it means when, when you're making that, that plea. And so I told Willem, hey, we could do the same thing. You got to be there, man, make the plea. And so, I'm, I'm, so that's what we're doing. So, so we're the first Dutch. And we believe it's going to it's going to explode. So our our goal right now is to raise up Dutch instructors, keep us in prayer. We want to get them graduated, get them Dutch instructors. Because right now I'm teaching. I'm, I'm like one mainly me and my wife are the one qualified. I think right now. Um, so I teach with I, I teach with a translator. Um, I translate my uh, syllabus into Dutch as well. I have someone helping with that. And then we're looking for books. It's been a challenge. So keep us in prayer. It's been a, it's been a challenge to get uh, Dutch. Textbooks and, and English and Dutch. So anyway, so that's that's. I'll keep us in prayer for that. But but I really, I, I man, it's it's a privilege to be part of this team. Here. This, it's growing, and, and yeah. my heart's overwhelmed with joy to be part of you guys. And love you guys. I just really wanted to. I'll be brief. I just really wanted to. I'm, I'm grateful for our ministry. I'm grateful for. Um, our Christian education department that's growing. I'm grateful for those that have paved the way. I, I don't know what, I am from speaking for myself, I know what I would have done if we didn't have our Christian education behind us going out into the mission field. Um, I thought we prayed before we went out and we were like, I don't know if I can handle doing my master's and being out in the mission field at the same time. It seemed like, what are we doing to ourselves? It, it's like impossible to do that. Because um, we knew the workload with, with the bachelor's program, we're like, oh, the master's program is way more work. Um, but we stepped out in faith. We felt God calling us to the, to the mission field. And, and we could say now because we're kind of behind on our homework, but we're graduating still. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's been a journey, but every single class has kept us. It's, it's been food for us because it's God's word, right? It's fire that's fueled us. Uh, everything that we've learned, we, we realize we don't know nothing. And we realize that... God is, is, is working on our inner, our, our, our master's degree is in leadership. And, and the whole program, we didn't know what to expect, but the program was basically about internal matters of character. And it's changed our life, it's changed my life. It's brought healing, it's brought restoration into me. The whole journey of my Christian journey from Bethany to the bachelor's to the master's has brought healing in my life. I don't know what I would have done. It's washed my mind, it's made my mind clean. And I really believe as we go into, we're talking about the third wave, we here are the ones that are pushing the wave forward. We're the ones that are, are giving it that stability. And I'm grateful, I'm grateful that we have a to take part in this and something, um, this is just the beginning for, for our Christian education ministry. We're, we're, what a privilege it is for all of us to be a part of that. And so I'm grateful, thankful, and uh, God bless you. I go out into the mission field and you can do it. the Lord, and uh, if you want to sponsor them, because when missionaries go out, you know, it helps when they're sponsored. So, uh, like, you know, we give to United, we can, that goes in general, but if you, if you feel like you want to sponsor them personally, I do that, 
talk to them afterwards and you know just you know whatever the small amounts uh, make a, a big impact when they're out there in the field they're, they're sacrificing they got all kinds of stuff to do so if you want to sponsor them please do so they'll be a great couple to sponsor financially amen so uh, the Ministry of Education we call it the moat you guys know that right M-O-E so the question is do you want some moat that's the question you want to ask your student do you want some moat go to that go to Victory Outreach Bible College Go to the Argentine Academy. That's the place you know, to get equipped, prepared, to get ready for everything that God has called us to be a springboard to the next level where God calls us. So um, at our office, uh, we have a, a, a small, powerful office, and I want to acknowledge them now, and that is uh, Sister Cynthia Felix and Brother Jason Deal. ways that make it happen. Cynthia handled the transcripts, and I should have said it out loud, um, but she handled the transcripts and enrollments and phone calls and complaints and uh, our comments and, and lots of good stuff. She makes things happen in organizations, uh, reviews the courses and approves the courses, <laughs> tracker, and all of this stuff to make sure uh, honorariums get filled out and she's crossing the eyes and, and what is it, dotting the eyes and crossing the T's. So, uh, need to uh, appreciate her and also uh, Jason he had